Welcome back to Dave Tech, all about audio, visual, and video production. And this is definitely on the audio video side. This is the bag I bring with me every time I work as a freelance audio visual technician. This has all the tools I need, whether I'm working general AV or L2 or whatever. So hopefully this video will help you with what I bring and maybe give you some ideas if you also do this work or just some pretty cool tools and toys and everything that most of the things I bought here, I bought on Amazon and the link will be in the description for that. Now, let's start with the laser measure, which is very inexpensive on Amazon, but it's very useful if, if we need to measure how far something is. There's a bunch of times where I needed this uh, working freelance and I also use it a lot at home. There's a little bubble level, which is kind of useful, but standard laser measure, you turn it on, it tells you how far a wall is. So the next thing is something that I bought on the, off of Amazon that I haven't really used that much, unfortunately. But instead of going like this to adjust the wrench, pretty cool. Now what isn't in this case, which is really, really making me worried, is my quick edit here. I, I just found my ultimate focus tool. I thought it was gone forever. I forgot because it's been so long since I've freelanced that I've bought a product recently that has this little handy belt loop. And I'm now going to use this to hold my ultimate focus tool because I sometimes put it in my little tech pocket and it can fall out. This will go on my belt and it will make it very accessible. And once again, make it a little harder, hopefully for me to put it down and lose it like I thought I did. Okay, back to the video you were just watching. This is a little flashlight, very bright actually. It's like three or four dollars or something like that at Walmart. It's really cool because when we're loading or unloading a truck, if it doesn't, if it's not one of those fancy trailers that has a light on the inside or the light isn't working for some reason, it's magnetic and it goes on the side of the truck and it lights up. And of course, you know, I look good because I help everyone see what they're doing. And really for around three or four dollars, it's actually a pretty good light. And like I, like I showed you just now, it has an impressive amount of output too. And then of course, screwdrivers. I, mean, I don't have to explain a screwdriver. Utility knife, extremely useful. Allen wrench, I've needed this a bunch of times in a gig and it's nice and compact. I did use some foam board or foam core, whatever you want to call it, on the inside because when I first bought this, all the tools were just kind of laying in there and it made it hard because they fell on top of each other and it was hard to see and you know, you get the idea. So, working in hotels a lot, get lots of opportunities for free pads of paper. Take advantage of that. The back here, Sharpie, always. Second Sharpie. And of course, free pens from the hotels. Purell, something I've carried with me for a long time. This kind of needs to be refilled. Um, I put it on here because if I attach it to my belt, when I bend down to adjust something, sometimes it'll pop the top off and there goes all the Purell, if you're wondering. This retractable keychain is great to put another Sharpie on. This is the one I use mostly. Um, this way, if I hand it to somebody, I hate to do that because they will get it back. Uh, there's no cap and hopefully I'll get it back sooner. Also, it's the way I lost my, my um, ultimate focus tool. If I put it down and walk away from it, eh, there it goes. So that way, pull it up, take the cap off, it retracts, I don't lose it. And also this little light, which is a uh, O light, very, very bright, compact, needs to be recharged. 
very useful when you need a flashlight and it's probably brighter than your phone. And it's more accessible because it, again, it's on this. Of course, tie line. And this is a bubble level I bought because I was originally using this one and it's way too small. So if I'm setting up a fast fold screen and we're trying to figure, is it level? Put it right on the side. Now, it does have a magnet, but fast fold screens are aluminum. So it's not that useful, but you know, this is an extra feature of it. And it's orange, as you can see, and it even has a belt clip. I don't use that, but that's a nice little cheap thing I found at Amazon again. Now, I mentioned the links on Amazon, they are affiliated, so obviously it doesn't cost you more, but it helps me out so I could buy more stuff, like replacing my ultimate focus tool, if I can find one in the box somewhere. Now, some lighting directors like using e-tape. I, I don't, so that's why I bring both. But for those who do, got some e-tape, have some gaffer's tape for when I have when I want to mark a case full or empty. I don't have to go looking for gaff tape. I can just pull some off. It's inexpensive as well. And, you know, just write it off. Now I do have a laser measure, but it doesn't work always for every situation. So this is a nice tape measure. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is why are the numbers so big? I mean, come on. The, these the inches are huge and then the increments between are so tiny I don't know but it doesn't retract until you push the button so that's awesome and in here all important candy because you have to have that right and here I have some Tablets to flavor water, in case that's all that's available. I forget I have it in there. Um, got this, don't need to explain that. Some Excedrin, which, uh, oh, it's not expired. That's good. And the joke, of course, is you put some gaff tape over a bandit, uh, over a, a wound if you cut yourself. It's an AV bandage. Well, I pulled out the wrong thing. I bring with me actual bandages because they work better and alcohol prep pads pads just in case and that is a look at well actually there's one more thing so compact that I forgot about it my Leatherman which I don't know what the intended use for this little side pocket is but honestly it couldn't have been designed better for the Leatherman because it fits in so nicely. Now I don't really use it that much anymore because I have a blade, I have real screwdrivers, I don't have pliers, but there's only so much I can carry in this bag. But it fits in nicely. So that is a look at my audiovisual bag. And like I said, the links for everything I've purchased off of Amazon are in the description, it's including the bag which has cat eyes on it because I was going to get one that had a poker chip on it, but it was out of stock and I was like, whatever, it doesn't really matter what it is. The reason is because a um, freelance is a gamble. Um, I have a full-time job, which thankfully is still paying me right now during these times. Audiovisual went away, but audiovisual pays better, but it's less often. So again, it's a gamble. Thanks for watching this video all the way through. I hope this helped you. And remember, you can't spell Dave without AV. And of course, the standard, please like, comment, and please subscribe as you look at this wonderful end screen and the video that YouTube thinks you might want to watch. Actually, you should watch that video. It's a really good video.